What classroom do you learn best in? I know that my learning lasts a lot longer when I'm physically involved, and that's why we're excited about Leadership at the Range. Our goal through Adventure Leadership is to try to put people in real life situations and then take that leadership training and blend it with immediate feedback that comes from experiential learning. I think this has the potential to be one of the most meaningful leadership trainings because it gives people uh, a sense to a chance to build a relationship with something and get immediate feedback in that. And there's a parallel that pulls into working with others, working in a corporate world, working in schools, working in just about any environment where what your role is is to interact and have relationships with others. What we want to do is create an environment for you to learn in where you're building trust, where you are uh, setting a course, where you're starting to create a passion for excellence and that you can lead the people around you not only to have that passion themselves, but that that would spread and be contagious with the people that they lead. We see the horses frightened, so we tend to want to take the pressure off. There's a fine line between scaring her more, but this is what I want her to do when I walk in here with my hand up, not looking at her. I want her to be still, drop her head, and relax. So I'm not going to quit doing what I'm doing until she does that. Now I'm going to take the pressure off. We sit and we watch the cowboy work with a brand new colt and develop that relationship of trust. We can't help think about the people that we work with. Some of the clients have talked to us, man, I'll be a better parent as a result of this. So many think about how they lead the people they work with, both um, employees and customers. There's so many connections between building trust and then communicating clearly where are we going, what are the objectives. This leadership program has been a lot more than I expected. Uh, I, I, you know, I've been through a lot of other conferences, but this really has gotten to my to my heart and my soul and this has shown me my weaknesses and it allows me to really work on them and make them my strengths here and this is this is one of those life-changing experiences and, you know, I couldn't I did, now that I think back there's no way I would pass on another opportunity to come here so uh, I'm really thankful to be here so, so as you continue to experience this particular ride think about the foundation that's been laid and how knowing that foundation is helping you be better and better. Cool. What the relationship leads towards, this guy, he, he wants to play. He wants to be a partner with me in today's experience. More relaxed. They learn faster. That's what we want to provide for you is an opportunity to talk about leadership in the classroom. So they went through these stages pretty quick because their skill set is so high. To observe leadership through the training and pre preparation of the horse. I tell you, this is a really confident horse. And we've done a good job with it so far. And to actually get up on this guy's back, tack him, bridle him, take him out in the field. 80 acres at the ranch in Arkansas. I've never been to a leadership conference like this before. And, and it's, it's so impossible to recreate for anyone. So come join us. It's remarkable, it's magical, and these guys are ready to play. They're ready as soon as you can get there. We'll see you soon.